Tonight, we ask the important question, does God exist? And in particular, we direct this question to our guest, the very Reverend Andy Simpson. Thanks a lot, Angie. Yeah, my answer, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be a predictably simple one. Of course, God exists. The proof is all around us. But I want to open Excuse that... Excuse me! <laughs> a question from the audience. Um, if there is a God up there controlling things, why does he allow people doing a good turn to get hurt? <laughs> ah, that old chestnut. Yeah, we're all sinful in a way, aren't we? Oh, speak and for yourself, Padre. <laughs> but we will all ultimately be rewarded in heaven, and I think. Hang that about. Let's get down to cases. I got this opening a tin of cat food yesterday, <laughs> gentlemen. Now I don't even, I don't even like the bloody mothy. <laughs> but I opened its tin of kanga chunks and nearly cut my bloody finger off. Now why? <laughs> God really can't be expected to watch over everyone who's opening a tin of cat food. I'd like to raise the level of this discussion and talk about St. Paul, who started out not... How is it? A man can stab his wife 80 times with a meat cleaver and not even get a crease in his trousers while I nearly cut my bloody finger off trying to save the cat from starvation. While there are other, other, other lazy... Lazy people sitting on their asses in front of the telly watching songs of praise, I should think. Yes, they... well, God gives us a choice, doesn't he? I mean, a choice to use our gifts wisely or foolishly. Ah, see, I suppose it's my fault, is it? Yeah. I'm reminded of the parable of the nine virgins. Eight of them were wise and used their tin openers diligently, but the ninth was a clumsy, loud-mouthed virgin who kept wittering on about it. Hey, about you're making that up. Look, there... <laughs> There are six million cats in this country. How many tins of kanga chunks would God have to watch over to make sure that nurks like you didn't cut their fingers? Uh, I think the point here is that God can't really be expected to be in two places at once. Yes, he can, he can. He's omnipresent, for God's sake. Look, <laughs> God loves us all. Doesn't seem to love me very much. <laughs> well, amazingly, he does. It's me who can't stand uh, the I, I think we might have exhausted this line of questioning. Um, could we have the next question from the audience, please? Uh, it's a Mr... Yes, Mr. Bentos from Cheltenham. Yep, that's me. <laughs> I like to ask, why don't they have a key like they do on tins of corned beef? <laughs>